So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your blog's address, also known as your domain name. Just like ours is at websitesmadeeasy.tv, you're gonna have your very own domain name too. And website hosting, so your website has somewhere to live and people can find it. Now both of these are super cheap because I'm gonna give you a special coupon code. So let's get started with step one, which is choosing your domain name and getting set up with website hosting. So let's head over to HostGator.com. Now I use HostGator not only for myself, but also for all my websites made easy members because they're super reliable and they have awesome customer service. They know WordPress and are available 24 seven phone and chat support to deal with any issues or to answer any questions. Plus I've been using these guys going on 10 years now without any real problems. Okay, so what you wanna do now is click on get started in the middle of the page. Then select the Hatchling plan if you only want one website. But if you're planning on having multiple websites, then I would recommend going with the baby plan as this will give you unlimited domains. It's the only difference between the two. Now this is really the only money you'll spend in this tutorial and it comes in under just 10 bucks a month. It really is a small investment to get started with your website and have your business live online. Now you wanna register a new domain name. Now hopefully you've really thought about this and picked a good domain name. If the name you want is not available, keep drilling down and use different URL extensions such as .com, .net, .org, etc. Or even playing around with the actual name. Then go ahead and enter a username and security pin and choose the billing cycle you'd like. Now I'm going to go with the whole year as it's slightly cheaper this way. Next, enter in billing information here and make sure you use an email address you can access as HostGator will email you with your login details afterward. Next, you'll see it's added on extras here. You want to uncheck these as you don't need them. And now you want to enter the coupon code here. So enter WordPress Hero to be sure to validate your savings. And you'll see the cost will go right down, saving you up to 60% off your entire hosting, depending on the hosting package you choose. If you decide to go with a year or more, it will unlock a free domain, which is cool. Now, you should know that we do get a small affiliate commission for anybody that signs up and we're gonna save you money by getting you the lowest price possible. So it really is a win-win. You get the lowest price possible and we get a small commission for you signing up. So it's great for everybody. And it helps support us to continue to make this content for you. Now, when you're happy with everything, click on check out now and you'll be the proud owner of your very own new website address. Okay, awesome. Now, you'll receive a couple of emails from HostGator with your login details and some links to different things. This is very important, so you want to find the cPanel link here and click on that. The cPanel is where you can install WordPress to your domain name and also do lots more stuff with your website. So log in using the username and password which you chose. And in case you can't remember, they're both in the email you just received. At first, this might look a bit overwhelming. It did for me when I first saw it. There's lots of different things you can do here, but all you need to do right now is find the software and services area. So scroll down and you'll see it here. Now you need to find the PHP selector and we wanna click that and then change the PHP software to the latest one. Currently the latest one is 7.0 as I'm creating this video. By default, it comes set at 5.4. So we wanna be sure to update this. Now this will ensure your WordPress website is using the latest software. So make sure you update this. Now click back and in the same section software, find quick install and click on that and click on WordPress here. Okay, all you need to do now is fill in a few things such as the email address, the person who'll be looking after your website. So if this is you, you can put in your email address, then your name or the name of the person as well. Now give your website a title, then your name and last name and click on install WordPress. Once you've installed WordPress, you'll get a success message that it's complete. Your username and password are here. You're gonna use these to log into your website. You'll also get an email with all of this in it as well. When you're ready, click on this link here, which will take you to the login or back end of your website. So you can edit and start creating it. And you might get an error message saying that the page isn't available yet and you might have to wait until everything with your new website is set up. Then click the link again. Now, this is completely normal. It just takes a little bit for your website to become live online, 
And also, you might have to set up the name servers for your new website. So don't worry about this. It's super easy. All you need to do is head over to HostGator again. And once you're there, click on the customer portal. Now log in using the username and password, which you'll find in the email HostGator sent you. Now you want to click on domains and click on your domain and find name servers. And then click on change. Then click on automatically point to my domain to my hosting account. Then save and you are all done. Now you should be able to click on that link again, enter your username and password to log into WordPress and you're in. Okay, awesome. You should now be in your WordPress dashboard and you are now the proud owner of an online website. So congratulations. Well done for sticking with it. It's a huge achievement and this is where the real fun is about to begin. And this is the WordPress dashboard. And think of it like the heart of your website where you can edit and change different things. Now, there's lots of different things going on in here. And we're going to talk about these very soon. So don't let it scare you or make you feel overwhelmed. It's not daunting at all. It's actually super easy to work with WordPress. And I'm going to show you how in this video. So the first thing I want you to do is just go ahead and X out any of these notifications. And if yours does look a little bit different than mine, you have some more notifications, that's okay. Just X them all out for now. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what your website looks like right now. So head up here to the left and see the little home, right click on that and open it up in a new tab. Now, as you can see, it's really plain. There's not a lot going on, but that's going to change real soon. We're going to get this bad boy dialed in and properly set up in a way to connect with your audience. Okay, so let's go ahead and head back to the WordPress dashboard area and go ahead and leave both these tabs open. This way we can see live edits. Now, right here where it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. Once you're ready to launch your site, click here. Go ahead and click this now. This way we'll have a live page that we can take a peek at when we want. And it's not showing a coming soon page. So now I want you to head down here to settings and then click on permalinks. Now this is real important. This is going to help with your search engine optimization so people can find you online. So all you have to do is just update this to post name. And this makes it much easier for the search engines like Google to find your website so people searching for your business or your services will be able to find your website. So make sure you go ahead and save everything. And now what we'll do is head back to the dashboard. 